I'm Ethan Kwan, and welcome to another tutorial, another scratch tutorial, in fact. Um, and this one's going to be a kind of math-related um, coding thing. So what we're going to be doing today is something called Langton's Ant. So I have the Wikipedia um, page open here. So it turns out that Langton's Ant is a two-dimensional universal Turing machine with a very simple set of rules but complex emergent behavior. It was created by blah, 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 blah. Um, so, rules. Okay, so this is what we need. So, uh, rules on a plane are co colored variously, either black or white. We arbitrarily identify one of the one square as the ant. Uh, the ant can travel in any of the four cardinal directions. So, that means up, down, left, or right. Uh, the ant ta um, moves according to the rules below. So, let's see. Let's see, what are the rules? Okay. Uh, at a white square, turn 90 degrees clockwise, flip the color of the sw square, move wa forward one unit. Got it. On a black square, turn 90 degrees counterclockwise, okay, um, flip the color of the square, move forward one unit. Great. So that's all we need. Um, let me shrink it, make it the same normal size. And here it shows us how to make a, um, make colors, but... Uh, you guys can implement that on your own. Okay, so. Uh, so I've actually already made a simulation um, a long time ago, meaning earlier this morning. Uh, and, and this is what it does. So, as you can see, there's a tiny ant uh, in the middle there. And it's drawing out its own little path. So, uh, what if... So... Uh, so what is interesting is if I speed this up, right, and uh, around around under 10,000 steps, it will do something very, very strange. So uh, if we just speed this up here. And we're getting close to that point and there we go okay so as you can see uh, what what looked like very very random behavior over here has turned into linear behavior with this ant um, going on a straight diagonal line um, all the way to the bottom of the screen and uh, not sure what causes that so uh, if we go back to the Wikipedia page here here's the first 11,000 steps so we can actually just uh, check this and see if our code is fine or we could just compare it with this one uh, as you can see the ant loops so we're gonna also be implementing that like it scrolls from t the top to bottom so we're gonna also be doing that okay let's just see if there's any other rules that we should see um, uh, I don't think so. Nope. Okay, great. So let's just open up a new Scratch project. Uh, if you're running this offline, then you you won't see this page. But I, I'm just gonna create a new um, new thing. And actually, I'm gonna sign out. So okay. So as you can see now, I'm I am signed into FunnyPy1234 dash test for all my YouTube videos. These are for all my YouTube videos. Okay. So. Uh, as you can see, I had added the little YouTube logo because I like YouTube. Um, uh, the logo, logo, anyway. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, we won't be needing the Scratch Cat, so let, we can delete it. And we can also paint a new sprite. So this is going to be our ant. So we can name it ant, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to paint three costumes. And I'm going to shrink this stage. Um, uh, we're going to have to paint three costumes. The first costume is going to be a white costume. So we're just going to be painting a white square. Um, and you can make it any size you want, really. Uh, I'm going to make it 4x4. Um, four four. So uh, this is 6x6, six 5x5. Six, five five. Oh, by the way, you can check um, the dimensions right here. Um, so 4x4. Four four. OK, that's a 4x4 four four square. Great. So I'm going to name this white. OK, I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm just going to say black. So I'm just going to fill it with a black color. And I'm going to call it black. And I'm going to duplicate this. And I'm going to create an ant. So uh, this ant doesn't have to be any artistic, no, no artistic style needed. So I'm just going to be drawing a 
big, big, um, some kind of color that you can see. So like this kind of color, uh, I'm just going to make, be making it like, oh, make sure it's smaller than the square. Yeah. Make sure that it's smaller than the square or else the simulation won't work and make sure it's centered. So, uh, we can call this one ant. Oh, and we can also delete the square in the background and there we go. Okay. So now as you can see, we have an ant, um, doesn't really look like an ant right now, uh, but it will become the length of an ant. Uh, ant. As you can see, I am just keeping this running in the background. Um, and yeah, so, uh, yes, so anyway, okay, so we have to implement this, this bit of code right here into this ant. So, uh, first we have to check out what the dimensions are. So four by four. So each of these sprites are four by four besides the ant, of course. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a move four steps block. So this will make sure that you are, um, going grid, 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 right? So, uh, four steps because the center of one is exactly four steps away. Whoops, sorry. Uh, it's exactly four steps away from the center of another. So that's, that's why we have this move four steps here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to events and get a one green flag clicked, go to control, get a forever loop. And, uh, if we drag this in here now, um, it, it won't really do much except for the fact that the ant will just wherever it is. Where is it? It looks like it's on the side of the screen, which is should be right. Negative to 40. Press enter and we should not see because I can't see it. But as you can see, the exposition is moving. OK, so um, I'm not sure. Oh, that's because we have the white costume selected. Yeah, my bad. OK. Uh, change this to negative 240 and we should see the ant. There it is right there right there moving across the screen Okay, so uh, great now we have the ant ant um, Working kind of so we have to implement this logic right here. So um, What I want is I'm gonna drag an if then uh, so I'm gonna say if uh, touching I'm gonna say color and I'm gonna select a black color because that's going to be our black costume, right? So our black costume would be this one. So if we're touching the color black, uh, then we are going to say um, uh, switch costume to white, right? Because if, so, uh, so if we go back to the rules here, um, we have to flip the color of the square. So that's what we're doing right here. We're just, if we're touching a black one, we have to switch the costume to white and then we're going to stamp. So we're just going to stamp a big blocky blo uh, box, right? So uh, I'm going to go to pen. Uh, we just had to click this little button there. Uh, it's, it's the little block addition block. If we click that, it'll just go to this menu, choose an extension, just click pen. Uh, okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to get the stamp block. Okay. So now, um, if we're touching this color, switch costume to white, and uh, we also need to implement the turning code, right? So at a black square, turn 90 degrees counterclockwise. So in other words, turn right. So turning right would be that way. So we want to get, oops, no, that's not it. Um, go to motion and we're going to get this first turn 15 degrees. We're gonna change the number to 90. And now we should see that if we're touching a black square, we should do this. And now we should, um, let's see. So after this, we want to move four steps. So if we're touching this, then we're gonna, if we're touching the black, we're gonna switch the costume to white and then turn 90 degrees and move four steps. Oh, and then we should probably implement the switch costume to ant again. Okay, so now we should see the ant, wherever it is. Oh yeah, it's on the side there. Uh, just set this to zero, zero. Uh, and it doesn't seem like it's doing anything. That's because we don't have any black squares to work with. Okay, so uh, I want to make sure that if you're touching a white square, we want to do the opposite. So we're just going to duplicate this. Um, I'm going to say if touching color white, so I'm just going to change the brightness up and I'm going to say switch costume to black stamp and then I'm just going to replace this one with a 
turn the other way, 90 degrees, so 90. And now we should see that we have logic. Woo, okay. So, yeah, there we go. Nice. So, we basically have length and dent working right now. Um, basically. Uh, so, um, it, it, it's going kind of fast for me right now, so I'm just going to say, uh, uh, I'm, I'm just going to get a weight, and I'm just going to say 0 0.1 second. And now we should see that it, whoa, 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 okay. So, one thing we have to do is clear the screen um, and then do everything else. So I'm just gonna drag and erase all. Oh, and I should also make a go to zero, zero here. So go to zero, zero. Okay. Now, uh, we should see that it starts in the middle and it does our length and zant thing. Uh, it's going still a little bit fast. Uh, so I'm gonna change this to like 0 0.2. And we should see that we have our little ant working. Woo, okay. So we've accomplished your goal for length and dent. So um, if you want this to go faster, of course you can do turbo mode. Uh, and you're also gonna have to remove this block right here. Uh, if you do turbo mode, you're, um, to turn on turbo mode, what you have to do is um, hold down the shift key and then just click the green flag. And now we should see that it's in turbo mode. And now we can just wait, but uh, one thing I want to add is this little counter here telling us what step we are on. Okay, so um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go out of here, um, turn off turbo mode, um, and I'm going to create a new variable, uh, delete the my variable. Uh, I'm going to say, what is it? Um, I'll, I'll just call it iter for, uh, uh, for iteration. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click this to double click it so it's a um, just a number as you can see and now what I'm gonna do is at the beginning I'm gonna set the iter to zero and I should probably get rid of that and at the at next at the end of this repeat forever uh, I'm just gonna drag a, a way um, change iter by one okay and now we should see that our iter is increasing and we should see that uh, if we make it go really fast, it will keep doing this over and over and over, right? So, um, uh, let's see. Uh, I, I feel like we can f speed this up a little bit, so um, I, ca I, I can get a if then else. Okay, so now we have a working um, ant, right? So, uh, one more thing I want to add is I want to add uh, the size control. So, um, so there's a problem right now, and that is length and depth is right now way too big. And one problem is since this, this sprite is so small right now, we can't actually change this down to like 50 because it's too small. So one way to get around this um, annoying bit of scratch is I'm, I'm just going to create another costume and I'm going to call it big. So I'm going to call it big, big, and I'm just going to draw something really big. So like that, for example, just draw something huge, right? Uh, and what I want is at the beginning, I want you to switch costume to big, right? Um, and then I'm going to set the size to, I don't know, something like 50. And then I'm going to switch costume back to ant, right? Okay, so the way this work it works is the big costume, right, is a very big costume, right? So that sprite doesn't have a size limit. So we can actually shrink that and expand that however we want. So now, as you can see, uh, we will see a smaller ant. So... There, but as you can see, there is a problem. Um, the sizes aren't working correctly. Uh, so how do we fix that? Um, uh, the the distances. So uh, you could just change these numbers again, but I kind of want to be able to just change it and then be done with it. So change the size and be done with it. So I'm just gonna get it divided by here. Uh, make this uh, 100 because that's the full size. And I'm gonna go to, um, is it looks? Uh, yeah, looks, and I'm gonna get the size variable. So now this will give me a num, uh, this number divided by, so this number divided by, uh, 100 divided by this number. So that'll give me the distance I have to move. So I will just put that in there, and put that in there. Okay. So uh, one problem with this is 
it can't handle big numbers. So for example, if I do um, like, I don't know, like 200, right? Uh, it will it will not work. So uh, if I do a number bigger than 100 here, then it will not work. So that, that's just something you have to watch out for. But anyway, uh, it should work now. Yes. And now we should see Langton's app is working properly. And um, yeah, so uh, let me just play the this one too. Yep, okay. Okay, one problem I want to fix is that the ant is not turning the correct direction right now. So, uh, at the beginning, I want the direction to be concrete. So, I'm just going to get this point in direction 90, and 90 should be okay. So, just drag that anywhere in the top here. So, now we should see that it's always pointing in the correct right direction, and we can go to turbo mode and see our ant working it out. Okay. Um, Okay, so as you can see, we have a full on Langton's ant. And of course, we can change the size again, like to like 10. But now it will be hard to v see because um, it's too small. So, like 20. No. 30. Ah, there we go. But uh, the size isn't working exact because. Um, well, that's because the um, uh, the move 100 divided by size isn't working correctly because uh, because it's not a perfect number, right? So that's a problem you have to deal with. But I'm just gonna set it back to 50 because it was a reasonable number. Okay, and now we should see that length and debt is working properly. Okay. So, if we wait for it to do that weird thing where it goes on the really big diagonal, um, I I'm just going to speed this bit up. Okay, so finally it is doing the weird diagonal thing. That took a while. Um, and it turns out that it happens, for our simulations anyway, it happens around 8,000. So uh, just just keep an eye out for that. Um, it might be different on your computer, but uh, if you followed my instructions correctly, then you should see that it will um, do the diagonal thing at about 8,000. So uh, if we just wait for it to get to the edge, let's see. So... Um, it's actually like 101 steps to do like a loop of um, the ladder, so, or the, the whatever it is. Well, most people call it like an, uh, like a um, highway or something, but I don't know. Uh, so if we wait for it to get to the edge, one problem we'll notice is, um, but at the rate it's going, it probably will never get to the edge. Uh, <laughs> um, so as you can see, once we get to the edge, one problem is that, well, it kind of races off to infinity over there. So uh, we want to fix that. I want to be able to make it loop from, if it touches the bottom, it goes to the top. If it touches the bo top, it goes to the bottom and so on. So how do we add that? So I'm, go I'm gonna create a new block. And first of all, I'm gonna speed this up because, um, because it's going really slow right now. So I'm gonna go to my blocks. Uh, I'm gonna make a block and I'm gonna call it do the, um, the ant. Um, that that make that makes it sound like a dance or something, but okay. Um, so I'm gonna click this run without screen refresh block, of uh, the the check mark right there. And now this should run really fast. So if we drag that in there, and if I just drag that in there, now we should see it going well slightly faster. Not that much faster, but slightly faster. Okay. So one more thing I want to add is that looping thing. So I'm gonna go make a block. I'm gonna call it loop. Uh, and I'm just gonna click OK. Don't click the one run without screen refresh block. Okay, so I'm gonna define the loop block. So what will this loop block do? Uh, this loop block will make it, if you're touching the bottom, it will go to the top. And if it's touching the top, it'll go to the bottom. If it's touching the left, it will go to the right and so on. Um, so I'm going to go to an if, get an if, uh, go to operators, get the uh, greater than, and I'm gonna go to motion, get the X position, X position. If X position is greater than, 
And since we are moving at two steps, so I'm just gonna say, uh, well, the edge of the screen is 240, so I'm gonna say 238 because um, because we're moving two steps a se uh, every time. I'm just gonna set set the x to negative 238. And same thing, I'm just gonna duplicate this. I'm just gonna swap these around. Negative 238, so if it's less than negative 238, then I'm gonna set the x to 238. And I can just duplicate this whole thing, and I can replace all the x positions with y positions. Um, y, y, um, y, and y. Okay, so uh, if the y and the y, the top of the screen is 180, the bottom of the screen is negative 180, so um, so y position is greater than 178 because we're moving two steps, so 180 minus 2 is 178. Uh, then set y to negative 178. And same thing with here, uh, negative 178. Um, I'm going to set y to 178. Okay, and now we can just put that under there. And now we need to drag the loop block into here. So just, just under there. So both of these actually, like that. And now, uh, I don't really want to wait for it again, but I, I have to, so, oh well. Uh, you'll, you'll see this and um, make fun of me after, so, uh, for not making my code faster. Okay, let's go. Okay, so it's finally almost at the edge, so let's just see if it scrolls or not. If it doesn't, then this was a complete and utter waste of time. And yes, so now, as you can see, it actually does scroll to the top of the screen right there, as you can see. Uh, great, so that's exactly what we wanted. Okay, so, uh, great, so, um, okay, so that will be the end of this tutorial. Let me just name it Langton... Langneg. <laughs> Langton's ant. Okay, let me just pause this, which means I lost all that progress. No! Um, ant, right? Okay, so thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. Uh, don't forget to uh, check out my profile on Scratch, uh, either FunnyPy1234 or FunnyPy1234-test. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video and um share share this video or this channel with other people okay so see you at how to do to leave it and also dot com and <laughs> and also uh if you think you can write better code than than me uh go right ahead um i'm not gonna stop you uh just if you do write something better please 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 send me the link um okay uh and don't forget to write it in scratch um online okay also, uh, uh, if you if you follow if you follow my tutorial, then you can totally improve on my code, or you can just remix this project, uh, <laughs> or you can you can also add to it. So, for example, you can make it different rules. So, what if you make it turn negative ninety here, and uh, uh, if you make it turn clockwise there when it touches the black one, and counterclockwise here, or something like that. I don't know. Just just mess around with it and. Please, please, please send me the link. Also, you can you can all experiment with the colors down here. Um, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. So okay. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video again, and see see you in the next video. Uh, either a scratch tutorial or something else. Thanks. Bye. Oh, and also um. Please make sure to stick around to the end of this video um, because I'm just going to be showing you running Langton's ant for who knows how long. Okay, uh, actually, thank you. Bye.